another day, another video about Warzone. Again, no footage of Warzone because it's broken and I value my very limited time not at work. Something that catches many people out is the fact that for nearly a year now, people have been complaining about the state of Warzone, as I made a video about earlier this week, but the people are still playing it. So the question I'm going to answer for you today is exactly why is that? Why is such a broken game still relevant? Let's get into it. As always, hit them buttons the algorithm likes, or I'll tell your mom what you really think of her cooking. Flying cars ripped straight out of the Chamber of Secrets and anti-cheat software that's made the game easier to hack, you'd think this game would have more than bit the bullet by now. Weapon balance straight out of the book of the Ghost of Warzone's past, a map which caters to as little movement as possible, and vision which is as broken as vision from Infinity War at the end. Yeah, I went there. Warzone outright refuses to die, and given the fact it's not, surely speaks volumes about what it does well, right? Well, no, not really. As we talked about on Tuesday, it's an estate. You'd expect it, it's, it's an estate you'd expect it to launch in, not an estate you'd expect to see in a game in its third year. So, this leaves me to think that the reason for it still being alive is the fact that we all know what Warzone can be. We all know the potential the game has and it's frustrating for the fans of the franchise and genre because in season 5, 6 of the Modern Warfare era it was really starting to realise that potential and we keep playing it because we have hope that it might well get back to that phase. The truth is we have two games worth of new weapons, a map that is, though not awful, has a plethora of issues, more than Fidance ever had, so that leads me to believe that it's not hope. I think we all know deep down that that game has peaked and that there isn't much hope for it going f that's going to hit those heights it did in the Modern Warfare area. What's next then? The other theory going around is that there's nothing else to play at the moment. This is a good theory but flawed, so I'll break it down. The player base is tiny compared to what it was. Streamers are still playing the game a lot, but they do not represent the player base. They represent themselves. With that, with that said, streamers are even playing other games now. Warzone has become the secondary game for most old school early adopters of the game. Casuals are not playing the game that much either, choosing to play Vanguard, Modern Warfare or Rebirth, which leaves Warzone with the problem that it is full of sweats, along with plunder. Side note, I tried to play Plunder the other day and holy hell, that's sweaty than Warzone. Mainly because all them pesky tree campers from uh, Cold War's Dirty Bomb mode are now in Plunder. I know, right? Players are still playing Call of Duty, just not playing Warzone, which I find hilarious because everyone be saying that they're playing Warzone in their stream and their video titles uh, to click on it to see their, to, you see them watch, you see them playing Rebirth. It's, it's not the same. You can't just shag a random lass and then tell everyone you got with Taylor Swift just because they happen to share a gender. So don't pull that malarkey on me, sunshine. You wish you were good at Warzone. We saw all of you for what you are when you were forced to play on the Caldera map. Yeah, 0.8kd calling yourself a baller. Get wrecked. Anyway, truth is, we are playing other games and it's the tryhards and freeloaders playing the game now, whether you like it or not. They are still a sizable, sizable player base in their own right, and that's why, and that's why the game is the way it is. Mix that with the casuals sporadically joining the fold in terms, in, in turns, and that is the reason why this game is not dead, yet. Battlefield was not the killer we all thought it would be or could be. Halo stayed true to its roots, and I respect that. And Vanguard was miles better than expected, but was the most expensive of the bunch. And there was uh, there was another non-star. I can't remember what it was called. Super people? Uh, no. Either way, nothing took the core of the player base away from the game, and it's kind of just staying in limbo in terms of player base. But in terms of selling blueprints, it'll still be making millions a month. So odds are Activision don't really care about the state of the game. So yeah, that's my take on it. Nearing 500 subscribers now, we are so close. So if you don't want your mother to, to really know what you think of your cooking, you'd best get that button clicked. Thanks. If you get to the end of it, you just need one more go. That's good to know. Oh, there's me bloodthirsty. Two more. Oh, how is that not a headshot? Double kill. Beat shit. Which one? Oh, 
dogs. That's the fifth dogs, and I've got a sixth ready. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just got another bloodthirsty. I am buzzing. Didn't even mean to get that one. Just kind of. When you get this pinned down, you shoot everything you can. That's in front of you. Yep. Well, how's someone spawning on you? Oh, hello. On you? Can you not change oh, your classic gear? Yeah. I'm aware, mate. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> level four. You're not even level four yet. You can't. Shit. We need to capture E or B. Make a mind up. I don't care which. I like your dog just then got me killed. Sorry. I was trying to run out of building it, which is like just standing there like an absolute quack. I'm gonna ask you a question and only once. Which dog? <laughs> Corona dog. <laughs> nice, Alec. Oh, we're losing B. What is this? Fucking friggy dog. Friggy dog to work there. Yeah, you get in on it. <laughs> Alright, that might help, like. We're not getting like 10 kill streaks though. All we're doing is there's a field upgrade which saves your kill streak, and it's on a super quick cooldown. So we'll get like five. Yep. Save I know, but it. I'm level, I'm level one bit, so I don't get field upgrades. I fair. I get def I get default classes and fucking still. <laughs> I just get a fucking high five and a fucking here you go. Just look at it. spawning. I just go on my father through the falling through the scaffold. I've got 38 kills in a dream. I've got another bloodthirsty. Is that it? No. Is that it? Yes! Yes! I've finally done it, Alec! We finally got the platinum. No, 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 just the bloodthirsty. I've still got <laughs> shit tons of headshots with this gun. I am actually catching up to you now, though, but I don't know if he's going to kill streaks or what, but. <laughs> you won't. Oh, shit. I'd like to say this gun was more powerful, but it's not. Is that that? Ah. Just default class. Here, boy. Uh, MP40. I just slid into someone sort of blind firing the LMG in his mouth. Better got paid. That's just got a mega kill, whatever that is. What's that, seven? Seven, I think, yeah. Super kill. I no, super eight. Kill. Nice. I, I literally just swapped into the kitchen. Hello. <laughs> Attack dogs oh. on the way. Friendly bombs run inbound. What is he using? Yeah, that's what he's using. I'm gonna kill you, you boys. Right, right. Oh, it's Triple bait! Oh no, somebody robbed a kill, you bastard. Nice. 